Hello hello fellow forgers, we're back at it with a second mini tutorial regarding kit bashing, this time focused on the snapping system. For pro subscribers who are digging into kit bashing, snapping is one of the more advanced but also arguably the most useful tool available in the system. The essence of how it works is that it is a kind of glue which will take different parts and put them together making them move, scale and rotate in perfect sync once locked on. At base level this is useful simply because any item spawned in with kit bashing can be snapped onto any part of the model and then move with it afterwards. For example if you want a really tiny top hat and you snap it onto the character's head, it will then move along with that head wherever it goes. This doesn't only work with regular posing edits, but also with complete pose changes from the original pose library. But the snapping system goes deeper than this. Items won't only snap onto the main model, but also to other kitbashed items. This means that you can kind of glue several objects together and create entirely new custom shapes. And then by using the lead item, aka the one that all the others are snapped onto, you can then move them all around in perfect sync as well. And yes, even if the items are all scaled differently from the start, they will continue to scale in perfect linear proportion with all the other items in the bundle. The sky is really the limit with this, you can go wild. So what are the actual limitations with the system then? Not many, frankly, however it should be noted that you cannot snap body parts together. Anything from the original model, like the limbs of the body itself, cannot be snapped around. Another is that it may sometimes be hard to know exactly where you've snapped an item onto. Fortunately, the edit menu will have a drop down of the model's joints, and each part of the model that is highlighted with one of these little blue rings will be the ones that have kitbashed items snapped onto them. Any items outside of these categories, although still spawned in, will not move in sync with the model. And it is important to bear in mind exactly where you've snapped something onto, like if all of your kitbashed items are attached to the model's torso, they may still move along with the model, but ideally if you've put an extra bracelet around the character's arm, you will want that bracelet to move with the arm and not with the torso. Finally, this interface can also be used to detach snapped on items from one another by simply dragging them out of their respective categories and to the bottom of the edit menu. And that's it, that'll be that. I hope this little mini tutorial proves useful and thank you for watching. Make sure to join the official HeroForge Discord server with the link in the description below if you want more tips or tricks from the rest of the community. And until next time, farewell.